my name is Lily and I'm the, the centre manager for the hostel. I've been at branches and with branches, I say this is my 11th year. Um, so I started off as a volunteer and I found myself from volunteering into resettlement work, uh, support work and now into a hostel manager and thoroughly enjoy it. I live in Waltham Forest, I live in a, a little town called Chingford. I've been there for 17 years, I lived there with my son. Um, originally come from Newham. Waltham Forest is very nice and though we've lived here 17 years, I still feel my home and my heart is in Newham because that's where I grew up. So um, when I travel to Stratford, go and visit family and friends, that's where I see the massive changes that are relating to the Olympics. I remember the day that it was announced and I was just so taken back. I was like, oh my goodness me, I never thought it, it would come to East London. Um, and as time is approaching nearer and nearer, I think I'm beginning to get more excited, mainly for the children, for my son, for my nieces and nephews. I think it'd be great for them to actually be there and see one event, <laughs> be a part of it. I feel a bit cross at times because I think that somebody that lives in the borough and is from the East End, not being able to get any free tickets or get any promotion tickets, but there you go. My son would love to see the, um, the athletics. I would like to see the swimming. Um, and I think even though it's in East London, I think you can actually travel to other places and go see other events uh, so relating to sailing. I think that would be nice. From my own experience growing up, I grew up in a home where my father was an alcoholic, a functioning alcoholic, worked at weekends, you know, uh, drank for various reasons. And unfortunately, our dad was taken away from us. He, he was murdered before my 21st birthday. So when I look back in my life, um, things that I do now for others is what I used to do for my dad. What I started off doing was on a Tuesday night after work, because I was originally a, nursing, a nursery nurse, so I would go over to a church in Leytonstone and peel potatoes, and that's where I saw people with various support needs, um, took an interest, and then a post became available as a support worker. So I would say, you know, one door opened after the other, literally for me, in the last 11 years. Never expected to be um, the day centre manager. Uh, and I, and I, I thoroughly enjoy what I do. It's very challenging. You can get attached to people, and it can be difficult at times, especially when you've got to be firm and you've got to lay the boundaries down, but that's all part of being a manager. So yeah, I thoroughly enjoy it. Well, I'm still struggling, I'm still settling in, still trying to find my feet, find where can I put things, etc. wandering around the building like a lost sheep at times. But um, coming here and looking around and thinking what it was two years ago, it's just, I cannot believe it's the same building. It's absolutely amazing. It's a beautiful building. Um, and I think it'll take a while for myself and the residents to get used to it and find our feet and feel settled. Maybe in six months' time when you ask me, I'll say, oh, yes, this is home now. Well, we actually, we're very privileged in the sense that we live next door to a park and it's called the Ridgeway Park. and it's, That's where everybody sort of seems to congregate. So I take it for granted because it's literally on, at the back of my flat. So I, I don't go there as often as I used to because my son's in his 20s now, so I don't get to go there as often. But I would say um, the golf course in Chingford and Lloyd's Park. So if I was coming further this way, then I'd say Lloyd's Park is very nice as well.